So who would have been in these early elementary cultures, as you call them, the equivalent of the poets today? The shaman. The shaman is the person who has, in his late childhood, early youth, could be male or female, had a, an overwhelming psychological experience that uh, turns them totally inward. The uh, whole unconscious has opened up and they've fallen into it. And it's been described many, many times, and it occurs all the way uh, from Siberia right through the Americas down to Tierra del Fuego. It's a kind of schizophrenic crack up, the shaman experience. What kind of uh, experience? Dying and resurrecting, you know, being on the brink of death and coming back to actually experience the death experience. People who have very deep dreams, dreams, great source of the spirit. And uh, then people who are in the woods have had mystical encounters. Don't they act with them and to be specific about it. The shaman becomes some person in, in a society who is drawn by experience from the normal world into the world of the gift of the gift of the gift of the gift of the gift.
my gear is like economized at this point for traveling. I, uh, <laughs> I, I had a fateful 2009 European tour where I was carrying a mandolin and all sorts of other, you know, gear that I'd play on one part of one song and traveling with just my girlfriend. And like during that tour, I was like, when I get home, I'm going to figure out how to do all of this and fit it all into a rolling case. Um, and so have tiny little one octave keyboard. I can control all of the samples from a uh, APC-40 Akai uh, MIDI controller. And, uh, you know, I have these uh, sort of drum, drum triggers for playing drums. The thing that I wanted to do was to pare things down and, you know, make everything essentially fit into a backpack, but make the show just as engaging as if I, you know, was carrying a mandolin and all this shit.